The coaching staff really had um, a game plan in place and in some moments we didn't execute and play as a team. And I think there were moments where we play as a team and look for the open players and, and go through an offense, but I think the deficit probably came from not being disciplined and sticking to that game plan the entire time. Is there something you can take from this one and, and, and put towards tomorrow? Say, okay, we want to we wanna do that again? Yeah, definitely. I think um, even Coach just now mentioned that there were good moments when we did stick to the game plan and executed. So I think going into next or going into the game tomorrow, it's really going to come down to um, sticking to what we've been practicing, playing as a team, and just playing with passion and working hard because, um, yeah, we just want to work hard and yeah. They clearly, I mean, I think the second game last time you guys played, uh, Maria and Vasiliki combined for 50 something, and today they're both in single digits. Uh, how do you how do you get them going? Yeah, I think definitely um, UBC's game plan was definitely centered around them and and shutting them out. So um, I think once again it's going to come down to that teamwork and looking for those open looks. Um, we have a deep bench and, and everyone can contribute, everyone's been practicing and working hard and so I think it's really going to come down to executing our plays, looking for that open player and and letting the game come to each of us. And uh, what's the morale like in the room? I mean, how this, you guys are in playoffs right now in UBC. So what what is what's the mo the mood like, and, and how ready are you guys are for tomorrow? Yeah, it's definitely exciting. Um, everyone, I think, is just feeling really determined at this point to come out, make the adjustments tomorrow, and just to continue to work hard and play with passion. After a couple of co close games with these guys a couple weeks ago, you guys got ahead in the first half and just seemed to hold on to that lead the whole way. What was the what was the game plan going in, and, and what seemed to work for you guys today? Uh, I really think. That, uh, throughout the whole week we kind of reviewed our last game against you guys and uh, kind of just wanted to do better than how we did previously. So we were really practicing trying to get improved when we did last. Last time uh, Mongomo and, and Luca seemed to be the ones that did the most damage combined for 50 or something. They were both in single digits today. Uh, how much were they a focus for you guys in this matchup? Uh, yeah, going to give them respect and say a huge focus. And I think today we really shut them down so that was a uh, couple plus positive for us. What do you guys do tomorrow? Do you just try to replicate exactly the effort today, or is there something that you can tweak? Uh, yeah, I think there's a lot of things we can tweak execution-wise, but with our effort and energy levels, it was really positive and something we can definitely build on tomorrow. You had a, like a sneaky 22 today. It kind of felt like a quiet first half and then some big threes. Uh, how nice was it for you to sort of hit your hit your rhythm there in the second half? No, it was good. The last few games, have, they've been a bit patchy, so it was, uh, it's nice to come back into playoffs and get up there from where I was before. Just your thoughts on the on the UNBC program. Obviously, I'm interested in that angle. What do you think of the of the young squad they have there? I think they're a really challenging team, and they're definitely going to challenge us tomorrow. And um, all the girls really give it everything, and um, all of us were not scared, but you know we knew it was going to be a challenge.